Hi everybody, thank you very much. My name is Mike McKay, and uh, I teach at um, Mukugawa Women's University. I'm going to talk to you about virtual worlds and uh, show you how we can give more opportunities for our students to practice speaking English after class. Uh, this is something I've been working on for the last four years, and uh, I'm pretty proud of it, and so here we go. Cypress Chat, I have a community, a virtual world community in Second Life with over 500 members from 40 different countries. And uh, we meet every, every week, every day, 24 hours a day. That's me, Mike McKay. I turned into, hey, I'm a professor, Professor Merriman. And this is me at a lesson last Monday. Uh, this is what I do every Monday night from 10 o'clock. You're welcome to come, everybody. Of course, it's free. And this is my model. Basically, we use virtual worlds to do our speaking. This is where we join a community, we explore, and we volunteer together. And we use a website for the study, the writing, and the sharing. Reading, writing, and listening. Speaking is on this side. So that's how we're kind of using virtual worlds uh, for a real life experience. But why? Why are we doing this? Well, I don't make any money from it. Uh, I uh, can write about it if I want to. <laughs> but really, why do we do it? Because we don't have enough opportunities for students to practice speaking English after class. Look at this. We have to practice what we learn, right? We go to class, we spend 90 minutes per week, that's it. 90 minutes per week and minimal speaking time. It's awful. Plus, outside of class, you get some writing practice and little to no speaking practice. It's awful, isn't it? Not enough chances to speak. That's what the problem is, really. And this equals slow progress, little satis satisfaction, and low motivation. It's a vicious circle. They're like, I want to learn. I want to learn. I want to learn. I can't learn. I can't learn. <laughs> I give up. And then again, later in life, I want to learn, I want to learn, and I can't learn, and then I give up. And pretty soon you're 60 years old, and you've done this vicious circle how many times? What can we do as teachers? What can we do? We can join study groups. We can have learning language, language partners. Because if we commit, if together we commit, or together we fail, at least we commit. We commit to it because we must bench you, bench you, bench you. Self-accountability. Students must have their own self-accountability. They must be responsible for their learning. I mean, just because you know what to do with a tennis racket doesn't mean you can hit the ball. I can teach you what a tennis racket is, but I can't teach you how to hit the ball. What's your motivation? If you can hit the ball well, hey, you just might win the game. Do you like games? Of course you like games. Everybody likes games. 54% of Americans play video games. Yeah, that's pretty neat. And Japanese, do you like games? Of course you do. Look at television. Look at them. They have the greatest games in the world. We love it in America too. Do you guys know Greek? Yeah, of course you do. Okay. But look, we want to level up. We want to improve. And we want to see that improvement. Right? Who's going to tell us that you're improving or not improving? We want to see these radar graphs, or spider radar graphs, or whatever. We want to see these stupid things that hate them. And then we have these levels, right? Oh, I'm going to level up, level up, level up. We want to see it in front of us. Well, how about leaderboards? Ooh. How about a contest board? Why don't we have a contest in a virtual world, and then you can get points, and you can see yourself on there. And that's one of our students. Right? We can use leaderboards. Leaderboards is a great way so you can see how you rank amongst the other students in the class. Here, I have a website. I'm using these points and badges, and you can get recognition for it. This is my website, I created this, and these are all the points you can get, and you've got badges and you've got points up there also, right? The students are using this website as a part of the class. They're getting points for everything they do on the website. Ooh, the leaderboard's in my class, I won. How can I do it? Well, I'm sorry. You can. I know. You're all right. Calm down. You can all talk to me afterwards and we'll get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sound effects, please. Definitely. I kind of like that picture. Well, the future is coming. It's coming. And you know, it's this. I made all this myself, right? This is one person who made this website. I made the virtual world and all the 3D things and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But for four years, I've been working on it. But it's at the point now 
that just about anybody can make a site like this. This is using WordPress. This is using Cube Points, um, a plugin. I mean, they're basic things that, that anyone can actually do. I just happened to know CSS and some PHP and was able to you know, re redo some stuff. But pretty much anyone can do this these days. So if I can do it, I know more can. That means it's more available and it's accessible to everyone. Let's take a look at Second Life for a second. What is Second Life? It's a virtual world. Have you heard of it? Okay, yeah, you've heard of it, but how do I use it? What's it for? Is it just all sex and drugs and rock and roll? No. Look at this. This is 14 different countries that we all got together, held hands in our costumes, in our, in our cultural outfits. And I called it Hands Across Sims. We do lots of projects like that. Here's a picture of what it looks like when you can practice speaking. So all you need is a USB headset and a microphone, and for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you can speak for free to the world. Come to my group, there's 40 countries you can talk to. They're speaking right now. They're actually listening. <laughs> this was a concert we did a couple months back. This is a live band performing for us. They're from Akashi, Osaka band, performing live from their studio. And next week, you're invited to come. We're having another concert next Saturday night with the same band, Takuma Gago. They're called Takuma Gago. So, if we take this second life, virtual world, together with what we've got with the leaderboards and the points, and we put that together, then we've got on the left-hand side here, on this side, the joining, exploring, and community, volunteering, the virtual world, and on the right side, then we've got the website. Some people are more attuned to using the website, and some are more to using the virtual world. It's up to you, there's more information. If you want to get in contact with me, please. Ah, oh, that was nerve-wracking. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation. Yeah, yeah.